Hello and welcome to Medic's Commentary. Gameplay with an injection of thoughts, criticisms, and hindsight. My name is Bluegill, and thanks for joining me today. We will be examining around a point capture in one of the smaller maps of the game loadout. I was using a slug rifle, a healing rocket launcher, with a deployable turret. I'll leave screenshots in case you'd like to know what parts I was using. I went with the healing launcher because I need something that can help the team and I with the objective. If I end up being the only one on point, it can still be useful while also being able to focus on my surroundings. When I saw that the capture point was lost, I knew where it was because of the location of the fighting. I could either run in and help, or take my time and see where the next point would activate. Taking a route that kept me out of sight would allow me to bolt wherever I needed to go. Because of the fast respawn times, there isn't always much use to go out of your way to get a kill. Before you know it, you're left to defend against a fresh wave of enemies in a matter of seconds. As much as I'm comfortable with a healing beam weapon, the launcher requires less focus to use. Beams can be frustrating to use because it, it's hard to hit someone half the time because they don't stay still, and the beams can really give away your position. Add this to when your buddies are strafed around in random fucking directions while you're just trying to overheal them. I do like that the beam is instant, but playing with strangers can be a headache if they're not aware that you're trying your damnedest to help them. On the other hand, staying still to get healed can result in being a sitting duck, and it doesn't fit well with the style of the game. For a game that's about agility, the beam's potential is better for healers with patience and who can trust their team. For someone as paranoid as myself, a weapon as simple and effective as the rocket launcher removes a lot of stress while still showing great results. The other chassis I've yet to warm up to, because I either have to aim down the sights, or I'm left alone and can't help myself. The launcher is great because I can also heal myself if I don't have any teammates within sight. It's not much, but every little bit counts. A big mistake that I notice a lot of players do is rely on people. So many assumptions occur during a match that the lack of communication between strangers can ruin a game if done so. I'll let my team get the killing shot if I'm not on someone's crosshair, but I'm aware that a person can get nervous by being put in the spotlight. I want to help people, not give them a nervous breakdown. If I feel that my team isn't doing so well, I'll put up my rifle and help out in a different way. I came into this match hoping to show my target getting lots of kills for me, but I discovered how useful it is just to leave it lying around. It's a great way of keeping bullets away from you, while also knowing who's coming with what. The turret can't turn around and fire, so think about where you should position one before deploying. If anything, you can use one for a decoy, or even bait. We all love to feel that we have smartened someone, and this is one way to outplay them. Just remember if you need to run to an ammo pickup before running into a fight. The problem I have with the turret is that it is not as smart as it's made out to be. It's easy to destroy a turret as long as you're either quick enough or you can get, get behind it. It can't aim very well, which makes using anything other than a beam chassis feel pointless. If you're running in circles around a turret, you have almost nothing to worry about because it aims so slowly. Can a turret aim better than humans? Doesn't really feel like in this game. If anything, turrets serve the purpose of distraction more than line defense. Wild Lodo is meant to be fast paced. Capturing a point can take what feels like ages because of rocket and grenade spam. As long as you keep running back to the point and getting blown up, you're still making a great contribution to your team. There's no way to be able to take out long range shooters and still be able to capture at the same time. What makes my point of not relying on people? Because I can't expect someone to cap the point when I want to help kill the spammers. How do I know that my team will still be on the point if I leave to take out people with RC rockets? Which brings the flaws to text chat. There's just no time to get thoughtful advice to new players when I'm being overrun by at least two people. My role as a medic forces me to be extra careful because I'm a valuable target. I can't stop to tell someone how to play Blitz or else I'm dead, along with any teammates around me. The best solution I can use right now is text macros until a better option is added. I could just equip it with a sniper rifle, but there's a problem with people running in close to getting a melee kill on you. Because I only have one gun that does damage, I need it to be versatile in order to cover my ass as much as possible. That's why I was having trouble with the shotgun. Some people can outrange you, and I learned that some weapons don't fit every game mode. A rifle seems to be the best option for general use, unless I use grenades. On a closing note, I'd like to ask for any feedback that you may have for me. I've been learning a lot just from my past videos, but I know I still need a lot of improvement. 
I almost never speak at all, so having to come up with what to say on almost everything has been a challenge. But I feel better about my public speaking because of it. I'm going to give live commentary a try somewhat soon. But for now, I'd like to give as much thought as possible into these videos. Thank you very much for watching.